was killing you too it's your one and only boy t notch back again with some more bangers look when i got into part it said the one v one rush was on i was only playing it with my intentions strictly only to get rep i didn't go in there thinking you know what i'm saying i didn't want to win it i mean i won it last year it really don't prove that like it's not hard to win honestly i just went you know for the rep like look at my bill I won this with my lob threat. I just made this build last week. And then, like I said, I don't play the game enough to be grinding badges out all that. I literally have, what, two finishing badges, bro. I was going against SS2 glass cleaning finishers who just backed me down on post hook the whole game. It's really not hard to win it. You just got to use tactics. Like, the main key is strategize and use tactics. Shoot smart shots you know you can make. Like I said last year, I was a 6'5 pure shot credit. And I was just shooting straight mid range. But the shooting, in my opinion, was better last year than it is this year. Because this year is terrible. I'm missing wide open mid range, bro. But a perfectly solid meter. But as far as guards, like, I won this event twice, actually. I first won it on my live threat. Because so I was like, you know what? I'm about to just play this jump for fun, just get my rep and my badges. So I ended up winning it on my live threat. Now, this gameplay right here is on my guard. I won it on, I didn't win it on my guard. I won it on my scratch four and my lob threat. But like I said, it's not hard. You just got to strategize. Like you can see how I was playing on my scratch. Like I was using smart tactics, shooting shots I know I can make, etc. Now, this is my guard. I meant my scratch recently. When I said my guard, I meant my scratch. Now, my guard, nobody's fucking with me. It's that simple. Nobody can mess with this nigga, bro. Now, last year, Everybody was like, use post move lockdown. Listen, I'm telling you right now. First thing you want to do is, before you even get on the court, adjust your badges. Like, I had Bell out on only because I run threes a lot and shit. And for 1v1, you don't need that. So, use that for space creator because it can definitely give you a lot of space from your defender and it definitely works. I have space creator on silver and silver only. And I don't have ankle breaker or none of those. You see how I was, you see how I was a bully in these niggas' ankles. So, that can tell you a lot. As far as shooting, use don't really mess around with catch and shoot and none of that if you a corner shooter you can add corner specials and all that but that's up to you i have green machine gold hot zone hunter hall of fame volume shooter gold difficult shots gold and i think that's it i don't you know what i'm saying like i said and if you miss it's okay bro at the end of the day it's just a game like, this game is very terrible shooting-wise and defense-wise, bro. Especially defense. Like, that's why I couldn't really win it on my guard because every guard I was guarding was speed boosting. They stupid fast, so it was like, you know, they got shark tape, so they gonna shoot it and make the shit regardless. But, you know, as I play this game more, it's like I find little and little more tactics on how to guard speed boosting. Like, they most likely gonna cross over. Well, they cross over with their off ball hand. So I just guard the opposite side of them. And then I'll have my friend pick up off the screen or something. But on a 1v1, you know, you don't have nobody. So my biggest advice is to stay back a little bit. And when you see them stop, you run up to them and they'll add a contested they shot and they'll most likely miss it. But RP to my man's ankles. I do not mean to do them like that. My guard was just going crazy. Now, the build, the build, the build. This build is so OP, bro. The way I made him, he's a lob threat. Wait, glass cleaning takeover, bro. I could have did post score and been more toxic, but if you a big man, this, there, should no be, there should be no excuse to why you cannot win this event. When they took, from what I've seen, you cannot pull the chair no more. So what exactly is your excuse? All y'all do is post hook, post the game. So that there go, there go one advice right there, and it's damn near unguardable. So that's all you really have to do for y'all type of big men that play like that. Me, nah, I'll be more skillful and play fair. But you know what I'm saying. The way I play with this build, you know, I don't really play big men. But damn, I ducked on bad. It's really much. It's really nothing much to it. I can shoot mid range, but you don't see me shoot mid range a lot because my meter is small. But yeah, I ended up dunking on him for game. He almost beat me, and that was like the last game to get the 
orange sleeves and shit. But yeah, it's pretty much it. Just strategize, use tactics, pay attention to your badges, etc. And you'll be alright. You still got from what I've don't from what I'm dropping this video, you still got like 20 hours left. So make sure y'all go out there and have fun and stuff. Don't take this game too serious because it's trash. And yeah. I know I sound very tired and it's because it's like four or five in the morning. But yeah, I'm about to show y'all the sleeves. If you guys have any questions, make sure you drop a comment. I will respond because I definitely interact with my subscribers. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. AMT, we up and coming and we out.